Okay, here it is. Uh, I have to fix the AC unit. Now, when I went and I hooked up uh, the new adapters here to convert it from R12 to the R134A, um, I put in two cans and right back here I had a leak. So either, and you can see there, there's a little bit of a gap. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take that off. Um, since there's nothing in the system, uh, there won't be any pressure. Uh, so it'll either be, the, it's more than likely it's the little O-rings that are on there that I'll have to replace. Here we go, starting now. Okay, now that I got the air cleaner off, uh, I can get access to the back where the bolt is for that. And as you can see, if you read on my Facebook, uh, I had to rebuild the whole TBI uh, injector system. Uh, it's it's kind of like a carburetor, but the fuel injectors are right there in the carburetor, so it's a throttle body ign uh, injector. Throttle body injector. Yeah, my merge are wixed. Um, so I, I took the whole thing off and rebuilt the whole the whole kit and caboodle. That's why it looks a little bit cleaner than it would normally on a 93 Chevy Suburban. Okay, well it's on there. Uh, the blue you're seeing is actually sealant that I put around the edge of that particular one because I was still a little nervous that it, it was going to leak. Uh, so I put a little bit of sealant. I have to let that set. Uh, well, it'll probably be about mm, about an hour. I only have one can of uh, the 134A, but the whole thing is, is I should uh, at least see some results, uh, or, and at least see if she is still leaking from that area. If she's still leaking from that area, I'm gonna have to uh, bring it to uh, a place to do it, which will, you know, run me up to $300 if not more, uh, to try to get uh, the AC running. Signing off. Alright, so I got the truck running. Um, what I have to do is I have to turn it on all the way on to high. Alright, over here is the port I have to put the uh, refrigerant into. As you can see, it does not engage. Um, that front plate of the AC unit to the gauge when it has enough Freon to do all of this. So here we go. I'm going to start adding in the Freon and then see if it engages. Okay. Uh, seal didn't work. It just started blowing out right at the back side of it. Looks like I'm going to have to do a lot more extensive work to it. Um, it did engage for about a second or so and that was it. So now I know exactly what the problem is, and I'll be able to fix it without without a hitch. It just sucks that I used uh, a couple of cans just to uh, figure that out, but at least that's done. So I know. Okay, so I replaced the two back seals right there, and I started recharging it. You can see the pressure is holding uh, fairly steady. Um, I have to add this can and probably another half a can in order to get the AC really nice and cool in the truck. But the uh, seal kit was like $9.99 for all of that and a couple of cans of uh, refrigerant uh, came to like $35, $40 total to recharge, retrofit and everything. Okay, so I get the AC uh, kind of up and running and I'm going to need couple more cans of uh, Freon. I mean, it's cool, but it's not as cool, and the indicator says I need probably about another uh, 15 to 20 uh, PSI of uh, refrigerant uh, in order to get the EPC running properly, so I'm off to Walmart to get it, and then uh, we'll see. Hopefully this will do it. I mean, now that the seals are fixed, I mean, I can feel cool air. It's just like normal yucky hot air coming out. Okay, so I did it. All right, uh, 
it took uh, basically four small tins of the interdynamics uh, coolant. Um, I went through I went through uh, two large cans and a half a can until uh, the seal blew basically. So I had to run out and I got uh, a bunch of small cans of the the sealer and uh, refrigerant. And now I've got a blast in AC, which is really good. I mean, it's it's putting out really really nice cold air. Thanks Interdynamics uh, for the recharge kit and conversion kit that you sold. Uh, well, I bought of yours, I should say. Uh, it was a really good kit. It was very easy to understand and very uh, simple. Uh, considering you also gave a, a interactive DVD with it. So, uh, that's it. AC is done. No more sweating people or baby. Especially here in South Texas. Bye-bye. Uh, AC in my truck. No more driving to work with the windows down. No more driving anywhere with the windows down due to the fact that they're so damn hard down here. I mean, I love it. I, do, I like it and everything else. But yeah. When you're driving, you know, uh, several places around here, uh, I mean, it takes me almost a half hour just to get to the Walmart, and I could drive to Boston in a half hour, you know, that's the difference of, you know, somebody, you know, <laughs> living living in Massachusetts comes down to Texas where everything's all spread out everywhere, uh, AC Bliss, can't tell you.